Hi, I'm Karina. Welcome to today's video. I hope you enjoy. Today we are bringing you yet another amazing variety of lower body exercises and a complete walkthrough of what those exercises should look like and to ensure that you're safe, happy, healthy, and getting stronger every day. Let's show you what we've got for you. Hey everybody! Hi, how are you? How are you doing? What's going on? I hope you guys are amazing. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new with us, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button because we're always here for you at least twice a week. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. It's the beginning of yet another week. I have finished my 21 day challenge. I am excited about that. That definitely means it's time for a cheat meal, but nothing crazy because being in this lifestyle, it's like your stomach is shrinking every day. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. But today we are going to bring you another lower body workout. Lower body is such a favorite exercise for me. There's so much that goes into it, uh, especially when it comes to form and just being really safe and what you're doing to make sure you're protecting your core, obviously protecting your back and just getting stronger each and every day. So today we're going to slow it down like we have been. We're going to walk you through and we're going to add some weights. When we talked about lower body and we did some exercises a couple of weeks ago, we did a lot of body weight exercises really for those of you who don't have a lot of equipment at home. But Remember, you don't need the fancy things. You can recreate any of these exercises with things that you have at home, whether it's a large bottle of laundry detergent, a gallon of water, whatever it is that you need in order to add some resistance or really just allow yourself to get creative, but get your body moving and not just think that you can only do one or two things because you're at home and you're not at the gym. So I hope you follow along today. I hope you enjoy the exercises that we're bringing to you. I know that I am feeling so much stronger, especially in my legs and my quads these last couple of weeks and um, these last couple of days. And so I hope that you are feeling that amazing feeling as well, bringing it every single day, doing what it takes to keep your nutrition on point and let's get into it. Let's start this week with some wide stance Romanian deadlifts, standard deadlifts, if you will, RDLs. I'm going to add a little resistance, obviously, with the bar here. So it's important to grab the bar and get into your stance with the feet wide, hinging at the hips. As you can see, my back is straight. It's not arched. It's not tight. That shows that I'm engaging my core as I'm leaning down, but keeping the knees slightly bent to fill it in the back of the hamstring. Slow and steady, four counts down, two up. Next, we'll move into some hip thrusts, which are a favorite, of course. I've added a 40 pound dumbbell here. Your feet should be flat, hip distance apart and directly below the knees. As you thrust up, and you can see my shoulders are hinging on the bench here, your booty should come up with your hamstrings and your quads to a 90 degree angle so that the knees aren't going far forward and they're not in too close to the body. Keep your core tight. You can even hold a tiny bit at the top here. push through. Next, I used a resistance band that is equivalent to 45 pounds of resistance in order to create a hamstring curl. As you can see, I'm laying on my bench using my hands to keep my body steady so I'm not moving around and engaging my core while using this band for constant resistance to pull in to a 90 degree angle, creating a hamstring curl and working out the back of my legs. Remember, anytime you're doing anything that's a split stance and stationary like this, as you can see, I struggle a little with my balance, so take your time getting into the right position. Stagger your feet so that they're not directly behind each other and it will help with your balance. As you can see, I'm going straight up and straight down, not leaning forward, not leaning back, and I've added two 15-pound kettlebells for a little bit more resistance weight. Next, we move into some cable kickbacks. So as you can see here, I have my body at about a 45 degree angle, bracing myself against the squat machine. I'm using ankle straps, 
along with this resistance band that's about 50 pounds resistance per leg, bringing the knee just past the other and engaging the glute and the back of the leg when I get to the top. Of course, don't forget the other leg. Here, I used my V-grip along with about 70 pounds of resistance. I used two different bands here. I have my resistance bands around my knees and I'm simply doing a squat. Standard squat, but bringing in that weight helps with some added resistance. And then as you can see, I pivot pushing my hips back into an RDL, but still allowing that resistance while using that band to keep my knees apart as well. Keep your core engaged, core, core, core. Did you get your lower body workout in today? I hope that you did. If you didn't, you know that you can always save this video to watch it at a later date so you can do these exercises with me. I hope that this inspires you. I hope that it motivates you and I hope that it gives you the knowledge and the strength that you need in your journey and where you are to start moving your body, to add some resistance, add some weight and really keep pushing yourself so that you are growing each and every day. The week is over. It's been an amazing week. We had some friends in town, which was fantastic. We went down to the boardwalk and the beach today. I love that it's only 15 minutes away. I'm a little sun kissed, but I love it. I love this time of year. I love being outside with my family uh, and my friends. And so it's always nice when we have some friends come in from Vegas because we don't get to see them nearly as often since we've moved out here. But I hope your week has been amazing. I hope that your journey is going fantastic. I hope that you are continuing to stay motivated. You are changing things up. You are getting stronger. You are loving yourself. You are loving each and every day of the lifestyle that you are building for you and for your family and for your friends and for everyone around you that is going to flourish as they continue to watch you grow. I love you guys as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know that we're back for you a couple of times a week. We'll continue to bring you workout videos every single Monday. On Friday, they will range from health, wellness, meal prep, workouts, whatever it is that we have that week to share with you that I think will be helpful. So thank you as always. I love you guys and I will see you next week.